For this graph, A, determine whether the graph represents a function, and B, if so, determine the domain and the range of the function. Here's our graph, and if we were to draw vertical lines through this graph, you would see that it passes the vertical line test. That is to say, no vertical line passes through this graph at more than one point. And so, therefore, for part A, yes, it is a function. Now, given it's a function, we're asked to, in part B, find its domain and range. So, for part B, the domain are all of the inputs, that is, all of the x values. The arrows on the ends of this graph mean that it continues in this direction forever, as well as in this direction forever, and therefore it spans the entire x-axis. And therefore the domain is the set of all real numbers which we can write like that. What about the range? Okay, to find the range, it's the same idea. It spans the entire y-axis, and so the range is the set of all real numbers.